Hello world, this is YC Conrad, uh, a Namibian um, conscious reggae musician, YouTuber and author. I'm interested in fields like psychology, philosophy, and I do it like just on myself, not like through a university, a medium or institution, something like that. I value self-education so much. In 2009, you know, I was like watching uh, this BET awards and I saw Akon performing. And since I'm that kind of person that loves art, then I was like, uh, I think I can do this. I think this is part of me. Like just the joy of creating your own songs and everything, you know. Yeah, then from there, kept pushing, kept it up. So like in 2013, like we, one of my big brother used to own like those old computers. So like uh, he was also kind of like having an interest in music. Yeah, so then when I came there, um, you know, we had these headphone mics, you know, these headphones with a microphone. So we plugged into the computer and, you know, we we're just recording ourselves. I never knew if you can master songs like mastering, you know, the mastering process. Not like the mastering, like mastering the art, but mastering like removing a noise what what so all we did was just record you know, all we did was just record and that was 2013 but yeah i did not really count that as professional because like the the one that i recorded like kind of like professional it was back in the days in 20 2015 yeah that time i think i was doing my matrix in high school yeah one of the holidays i get to to record like one of my first songs yeah uh, the link can be in the description for you to check out those first work that i did So like uh, the way I will answer this question, you know, like it's two parts: the support and the motivation. The one who supported me, like to to tell to to record like my my work or yeah, just to express my talent. Uh, I can give that to my mom because I remember the first time I went to record my songs, she gave me something around a thousand Namibian dollars, which really helped me. Yeah, there were no studios where I live like closer by. Because that time I'm in Rakano. So I had to like uh, use that thousand for transportation from Rakana to Ongodiva and uh, record like three songs. Yeah. And yeah, she supported me that way. And uh, yeah, there are people who support me emotionally or, you know, they are like support. Like it does not always has to be with like money. Sometimes someone cannot give you money, but all they can give you is the hope, uh, the belief in you that you can do something, you know. Yeah, there are a couple of people that support me. Uh, like through th through the space of YouTube, yeah, like they uh, see my work there and then they support me. The motivation just comes, I think, through me and through what I view online there. Uh, like for example, the I did a video on like experiencing life in the ghetto. You know, like how people live in the in the ghetto, like they in like. You know, if you go to Winduk or if you just go to those cities, you know, there's always that low class people. They call it illegal areas, you know, informal settlements. Yeah, I did a video on that, on experiencing the life on that. Uh, and what motivated me to do that, you know, it's just like mm, people don't have the same complaints. Sometimes you have it better, but you think you are worse. But you, if you could have just seen how someone is having it so worse, then you could realize the blessing that you have, you know. I just want to tell the world uh, the different experiences people go through because you know sometimes the system in your countries they might be better compared to someone in, an, in another country so sometimes sometimes my heart just like you know um, I feel so much grateful at times because of kindness you know I meet a lot of people uh, like some of them they don't know me like we've never like physically been touched but you find them blessing you with something like let's say someone can bless you like oh what do you need to maybe like you need new speakers or something like that then they can like uh, make attempts to help you uh, that really touched me a lot it makes me feel so much grateful and it it makes me willing to give you know believe like in helping one another like how Bob Marley said it why not help one another on the way to make a little much easier so it makes me feel so much grateful my message to those that are, are solving problems not everyone will support you you have to make peace with that sometimes you can create and people don't care they just don't care at all you know yeah but you always find your tribe and the thing is always to validate yourself it's always to approve you first before everyone approves you to be confident in yourself yeah to approve your work 
like you know then people can approve it yes not everyone will like it some will not like it some will tease you a uh, some will tell you all sorts of other things that are uh, where do you think you are going you won't go anyway it's tough it's tough but you know you have to you just have to keep going uh, keep creating that keep posting that you know like sometimes you know you start up like a youtube channel or you know you post videos just three people or four people watch it can be very discouraging but with time with time you can life can change i've seen someone is an american uh, uh, content creator the time i started watching him he only had like one point something sub subscribers but like right now within maybe a one year period he's having like seven i mean not seven but 36 now he's going to 36 thousand subscribers you know he just kept going you know you just keep doing consistency just keep doing you those that don't support you it's fine for them not everyone has to support you you know so ah that's that's my message I remember the workshop uh, just just notice now that yeah, you were the one behind it yeah, that was back in the days 2019 I think now it's, it's one year or two years ago yeah we couldn't meet in the workshop but uh, it was a very very great workshop like for for writers you know uh, but the most thing that I would say I learned it was mostly about the there was the other lady who spoke about copyright issues uh, how like you can be sued and all those things so you know sometimes we should think that maybe you can just go on on youtube and get a beat and then you create a song with it yeah you can but you know the you, you can be sued here and there or like some they will, they will require you like to give credit to the owner of the beat and also like when it comes to book publishing you can you can just like take somebody's idea as if it's yours you can just take somebody's picture from google just like that you know they always has to be stuff so yeah a lot of people don't understand those things they don't understand those things and that's why you find these like namibian people like youtubers you just find them they get other people's songs they put them on their youtube channels they are getting a lot of viewers but um, like you know youtube also have start copyright things like uh they can notice when something is not yours yeah another example i can give you know like um this jerusalem dance challenge you know a lot of schools and a lot of companies did that but uh, at the end of the day i think um the royalty or the whatsoever it was going to the owner of the work you know it's copyright yeah it's good to promote others work and yeah but uh, you have to keep off the thing of copyright in consideration yeah uh, in the workshop we couldn't meet the universe when your particles are kind of like maybe vibrating uh, at the same frequency you kind of like get to meet some days you know that's why like now we met through the space of youtube that's great and that's wonderful The only thing I would really want to change if I had like utmost power to just be changing the mindset of people to the to a conscious mindset, you know. A lot of us are, are led by like ships, you know. We don't do things because of us. It's always because of uh, certain influences, you know. The good thing about uh, that, I would, that, that, that comes with consciousness is the critical thinking. I would want like to instill critical thinking in people because, you know, people just, if it's, if it's, if, if something is on TV, that's what they get to believe. Like, you know, they, they lack their own critical mind, you know. That's why you find now the world, like, like at the time right now the world is changing we are living in so much uncertainties uh, this pandemic so-called pandemic in my opinion a lot of people they are losing their mind like they are just not having their mind they are they are living in fear and they are feeling powerless yes if you are alone you can never beat the system all alone uh, you need to be together with other people so like one of the things that i would change is just for the people to realize they are the, the power in unity what we could achieve if we just do it together against the system when the system wants to oppress us those are the things that i would like honestly change yeah the system is trying to control us uh, the elites the politicians the rich the billionaires you know uh, some will call me a conspiracy theorist but you know it's just the truth you know so like if people just realize the power of coming in togetherness then we could achieve a lot a life could be very great for the majority but now some people you know they are not like they are not critically thinking they just accept everything that is said so that is not going to keep us like it's not going to make us easily go forward now if i was a magician i would really like change it
yeah, I would just want to say stay positive here and there. I know it's not always easy to be positive, but uh, you know, acknowledge reality. Do your best. Not everyone is here to live forever. Make your mark or do you while you are still alive. Uh, yeah, that's all I could say. And yeah, one love, you know, you have to love each other. Let's help one another on the way. I know you can help each and everyone, but each and everyone can help someone through whatever way they can. So that's what I would say. And thanks for watching and subscribe to the channel.